All right. Wonderful. Thank you, Clifton. So mm -hmm. when we talk about servicing from our standpoint, all of the systems will be built to utilize a two-hour refrigerant or a four pitch four B. Mm -hmm. And really, guys and ladies out there, they may appear identical in a lot of cases to other systems that are using A1 refrigerants, but an increased focus on safety, therefore, is required. Yes. So all new equipment for A2 refrigerants, some may include leak detection. We'll talk about that. Some may have forced fan modes and automatic isolation valves. A2 refrigerants are regulated under the EPA 608 that requires recovery instead of venting during handling and transportation. Absolutely. Anytime we have repair and installation of equipment, you're going to always have to use original OEM components that are designed for potentially flammable atmospheres. And only certified service equipment, such as mentioned before, reclamation recovery equipment for A2L refrigerant should be utilized. And the adherence to manufacturer recommendations in the safety data sheets for hazard mitigation is totally dependent on the charge size and the equipment location. Yep, definitely. We've seen a lot of that, and it's going to dictate what the equipment changes are going to look like. So, speaking of equipment changes, <laughs> let's dive into a little bit of what we're going to see in equipment changes. All right, Chaz touched on a lot of this before, but basically the impact on the Bosch equipment after the 1st of January of 2026. So on the left, you have the headings at the top of the machines that we have, and then the classification on the left, it says... Can be can it be sold or distributed after 1-1-2026? So an IDP or a water source heat pump is a self-contained package product in a lot of cases. We do offer a split water source heat pump as well. But they are considered a product, and they can be sold actually until January 21-2028. But then when we talk about IDS ODUs, then that is considered, as Jess said, a component. But it can be sold as a component after 1 1 2026. The IDS indoor unit, the air handler that goes with the outdoor unit, or the case coil that would be attached to the top of an existing or a new gas furnace, they are also considered components and can be sold or distributed after the 1st of January 2026. Mini split, we offer, of course, the Climate 5000 mini split system, which is a coupled outdoor unit, as well as multiple types of mini split air handlers. They are also considered components, and both of those can be sold after 1126. Then when we talk about the IDS outdoor unit and indoor unit, when they're together, they're actually referred to as a system. Right. So that is not applicable. After 1126, we cannot sell them as a system. However, we can sell them as separate components. When we talk about that, that's really for, you know, service issues and Absolutely. replacement. That's our service and replacement parts. And then we also have the same effect for the mini splits as well.